Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, again, for the third time, uh, and today I will be reacting to, is Joey Wheeler the greatest duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh? Is Joey Wheeler the greatest duelist in Yu-Gi-Oh? In my opinion, yes. No. What? You can't be serious! <laughs> but does he have the most potential? Definitely have the most potential, but in my opinion he is also the greatest. I think so. And yes, even more so than Seto and Yugi. Ah, right! For us to analyze this, let's first take a look at Joey's rapid progression. Let's take a trip back to the very start of the anime. When we first see Joey... Yeah, he was school, very bad he then. ...he a trash deck containing nothing except monster cards. And he gets thrashed around by duelists such as Taya, which, if I'm honest, sets the bar pretty low. That brings your life points down to zero, Joey. Once again, you lose and I rock. You stink at this game. He did stink. So it's safe to assume Joey was at rock bottom. So for him to be able to make it from where he was to take second place at Duelist Kingdom is an achievement. Yeah, he did that real fast just because of a time wizard. Sure, his entire training came from Yugi's grandfather, which, while not a bad mentor by any means, took place over a very short period of time. Joey never got to go to a fancy Duelist Academy. Explain to the class what a field spell Come on. is. Please. Um, a field spell is, uh, it's the thing, thing that, that does the thing. the thing that is, uh... No, instead he had a short training montage and was immediately thrown into an international tournament full of professional duelists. Yeah, that would be really difficult. Glad he figured out what to do. He not only defeated Rex, the former runner-up at the previous tournament, but also Bandit Keith, who cheated several times throughout. But jo yeah, many, many times he just added cards to his hand from his bracelet. He was still able to defeat him, even when facing enormous odds such as these. His ability to adapt and overcome challenges while still being a beginner... Joey the Dancer. ...and getting as far as he did shows enormous growth and natural talent on his part. However... Joey might have even been able to take the number one spot at Duelist King. Yeah, Yugi cheated. Kingdom in the anime, if he wasn't cheated by Yugi, that is. The defining moment in the duel of Yugi versus Joey came down to Time Roulette, which is the special effect of the Time Wizard, a card given to him by his best friend Yugi. Now, Time Wizard, with a bit of luck, can be incredibly powerful, and it served Joey well, being the key card which turned the tide in many of his duels. However, when used against Yugi and his signature Dark Magician, it transformed that Dark Magician into the Dark Sage. That's why it's a cheat, because it should have been Yugi using Time Wizard on his side and not Joey. Uh, and not using it when it's on Joey's side. Elevated version of the Dark Magician. A little strange, no. The one card Yugi gave to Joey was also the card that would be the least effective in a confrontation against himself, to the point that it would fully undermine Joey. A coincidence? No, it was probably intentional. Here, Joey, take this. I hope you never have to use it against my Dark Magician. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Whereas Seto Kaiba's signature card, the Blue-Eyes White Dragon, represents the pure power he- Blue-Eyes White Dragon, power, Red-Eyes Black Dragon, potential, Dark Magician, probably just, uh, wisdom. Possesses. Joey's signature card, the Red-Eyes Black Dragon, represents potential. This is clearly shown throughout the constant battles that take place over the course of the series between Kaiba and Joey. We see in Duelist Kingdom, Joey getting wiped out by Kaiba without really much challenge. But further down the line, when we see Seto and Joey clash once more, the contrast is pretty amazing. Joey even has Kaiba sweating a few times during that duel. Like that? You know, the way I took your favorite card from you? <laughs> I got bamboozled once because there was a YouTube video that did this exact same duel, where uh, I think Kaiba just destroyed Blue Eyes without actually destroying it. He still loses in the end. But I believe that if this rapid pace of progression holds true going into the future, there may even come a time where Joey can give Kaiba a real run for his money. If I think uh, Joey might actually be able to win now, but it really depends on what the rules are. Not win. In Battle City, Joey loses his red eyes. And even after Yugi wins the card back for Joey, Joey refuses to take the card. That's also a good point. He went into it and made it to fourth place without his red eyes. Wanting to prove that he is capable of winning without relying on it. 
Nah, you. You hold on to it. It isn't mine to take, pal. You want it fair and square. And so Joey starts Battle City at a disadvantage. In much the same way he does in Duelist Kingdom, where he begins with only one starship. He legitimately fights his way to the top yet again with another handicap. And let's not forget, he makes it to the top four of the Battle City tournament, being the only duelist left remaining without an Egyptian god card. <laughs> but who needs an Egyptian god card when you have the Swordsman of Landstar? Second best card <laughs> behind uh, Ojama Yellow for sure. I mean, look at those stats. <laughs> Yay. And even here, Joey goes head to head with Marek's winged dragon of Ra. He survived a full-on attack from Ra, which is the most surprising part about the entire duel for me. And I think we can all agree that he should have won that duel. But of course, it has to be Yugi that defeats Marek. Imagine if Joey was just able to utter the words, I attack, before he collapsed. So let's just put Joey in a coma real quick. Joey is a true duelist, and by true duelist, I mean a duelist who made it to the top on his own merit. Let's just take a minute and appreciate that Joey has no Millennium items, and unlike Yuki and Seto, true. has no connection to an ancient Egyptian counterpart. Also true. Now, this plays a giant part in forming my opinion, since it's pretty obvious Yuki uses the power of the Millennium Puzzle to get the edge in the majority of his duels. And while many would argue... That on account of the fact that Seto refuses to acknowledge his ancient Egyptian past, he doesn't gain that benefit. If I had a dime for every time you used the word destiny, I'd be even richer. <sighs> Without his ancient past, he wouldn't have defeated the Shizu. But whether he likes it or not, it does play a huge part in his dueling ability. Uh, for example, when he was dueling against Shizu, and the Millennium Rod showed him visions of his past, these aided him in the duel. Otherwise, he would have most likely lost to Shizu in that duel, and Joey has none of that. What he does have are the qualities of a real duelist. He Swordsman of Landstar. <laughs> loves to trade cards, always seeking to improve his deck. Whoa! Strong cards! Hey, wanna trade? How about you? Anybody? Help me out here! Guess Joey's trading. He starts a series with a terrible deck, and he trades for or wins cards throughout his journey, and eventually ends up with a deck which is pretty formidable. He didn't have his deck handed to him by his grandpa, who owns a game shop, having access to many rare cards. Joey also doesn't have a billion dollar company supporting him, unlike Kaiba, who carries around a briefcase of rare cards wherever he goes, which he displays way too often for my liking. Fun fact, Joey Wheeler actually had a perfect 50% win ratio. And we got an ad, hold on. And be back. All right, Yugi. All right, Yugi. I don't know what don't kind know of stunt you're pulling, you're pulling, but if you're going to be dueling, then, then you may as well build yourself a real deck, a real deck. not that bargain not that basement deck you use. You use. Many Some of those cards are useless. And say that Joey, and say only, Joey wins only wins because he gets lucky. Gets lucky. And yet, isn't and luck a critical, critical part of dueling? Part of dueling. There's always a literally, that literally always happens. Top decking the card you need right at the last minute. Luck is something that comes and goes. Some people just get lucky. Luck is always there. And so there are several scenes where Joey... Oh, I thought it we was paused. Like Hold up. Nearly and it nearly the game, the game. And that's a risk that's a you've risk always been willing to take. Spin! Time roulette! Time roulette! Time roulette. Uh, time you can do this. Can you the can one time you lost the time roulette. Mm -hmm. This is it! <laughs> what? No way! Balls, I won! And now, Joey still won that duel. Other, how would you explain Tem's destiny, destiny draw? draw? He, has he has the ability. That's to just unfair. Alter, alter destiny, 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 letting him draw letting him any card he wants, wants at any, at given, any time. given time. And what is, what is that? Not exactly any card he wants. If you watched a TGS anime video, uh, it gives him a card that he needs at that specific moment, but it won't be whatever he wants. That, if not kind of cheating. cheating. Okay. okay. Last, Last, but not, but least. not least. And this is just and a blanket statement, which I. I personally, believe, I personally in. believe in. Joey Wheeler, Joey Wheeler would, defeat would defeat Jaden Yuki, Jaden Yuki in, a in a duel. Now, now I'm, a, I'm aware. Now, which version of Jaden? Because if it's season one Jaden to season three Jaden, like, uh, 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 early season three Jaden, I think Joey will take it. But if it's season four Jaden, 
Dan will just take the duel way too seriously. Well, this is <laughs> kind of just kind pure just speculation, pure speculation here. Here. And, and I had a look online, and it's pretty, pretty close, but a majority, but a majority of people, people would, in this scenario, scenario favour Jaden as, as the winner. And yet, and yet through everything we've discussed, discussed here, here, I think Joey I think has Joey shown that he's got a pretty, pretty good chance of beating him. He's worthy of respect. Now, whether you agree with me or disagree, leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on this, because honestly, I'm super curious to hear the other side of this argument. If you enjoyed this video, make sure... Okay, that'll be the end of my video. Hopefully you all enjoy. And for the third time, happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.